Hello friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the tool Inertia which is coming in the uh, Kitsia V5. So one of my subscribers have asked me how we can find the center of gravity of a particular object. So it must be a part or an assembly. So you can find that really easily and uh, another thing is uh, the mass, the mass of an object. So I haven't shown about uh, finding the center of gravity and the mass in my previous tutorials and let me just show you. So before doing that I need to create a very simple part. So what I'm doing is I can show that in a part as well as an assembly. So I'll start off with a part. I'll just simply create two object and I'll just assemble it. So instead of going to the part, I'll just go for top-down approach of uh, the assembly design. So I'll select uh, the assembly design now and go to insert, new part and insert it under the product and coming into the product. So the people who don't know the top-down approach might be wondering what I'm doing. So please go back to my previous tutorials and find out how you can work with the top-down approach. Alright, now firstly I'm going to create a cylinder. So here is a simple cylinder and I'll just give a height for it. Okay, let me pull it up. So this is not something complicated. So we got one power here. Let's just come out of this workbench to the assembly workbench. Okay, the tools got changed. And again create another part. Okay. And again come to the part workbench. I'm doing all this because I need a part where I can find the center of gravity. So I hope you understand that. Now create the next cylinder. Okay. So I'll just project it. Okay. So in this way when I'm doing I don't have to assemble the assembly. I'm just drawing it into it. So that saves our time. So the main motive of this tutorial is just to make you understand how to find the center of gravity and the mass of this object. Okay, now we got this two parts. So this is part part two and this is part one. Okay, now let's see how we can find the center of gravity. So here you have a tool so that is coming under the measure. Go to the measure inertia. So I hope uh, the subscriber who asked me this doubt might be uh, paying attention. This is the place where you need to pay, pay attention. I think he need to find the center of gravity of uh, some automotive uh, body or something. So you can use the same technique. Okay. Now what you got to do? You have one option to find the inertia in the 2D. So this is uh, an option to find the 3D. So this is what we are going to find and you can either click on the part if I click on this part the center of gravity of that particular part will be coming and if I click on this part the center of gravity of this particular cylinder will be coming so I need to find the center of gravity of the product or the assembly so that's the whole point of creating this whole assembly so I can show you that I can find the center of gravity for each part or else I can find the center of gravity as a whole so I'll click on the product here so this engulfed in kind of uh, kind of uh, what you say a box or cube and you can find a cross hair over here that's where the center of gravity lies and you got the exact uh, coordinate where the center of gravity lies so that's 0 0 and 97.285 okay and uh, another thing, the mass. The mass is 0.262 kilogram, provided the density is 1000 kilogram per meter cube. So that's a simple technique and this is uh, really very useful and you can use it this way. 
okay and uh, that's all about uh, this simple tutorial and I hope uh, this is gonna come handy for certain users and I'll come back with more and more tutorials please subscribe me like my videos and uh, I keep uh, uploading tutorials and I keep more preference for the doubts uh, which are asked by my subscribers I give the I give, I've give them more preference than my regular uploads and uh, thank you so much stay tuned